Hey, I'm Happery. It's been a while, but welcome back to my extreme one chunk UIM series, where I try to unlock the entire RuneScape map by completing one chunk at a time, as an ultimate Iron Man. I started my journey in Lumbridge, where I spent almost two years getting 99 woodcutting and defense to obtain both skill capes available in that chunk. Then I completed a few less time consuming chunks in quick succession while navigating towards El Carrot and the Giant's Plateau essential to unlock a great smithing training method in Giant's Foundry. Then I used the canoe system in Lumbridge to travel to Edgeville for another massive chunk, with grinds even bigger than I anticipated. So far I've made quick work of the hill giant boss Obor and some pretty big mining, crafting and smithing grinds. But still I have Bryophyta to green log and a potato cactus to harvest before I'm done. I'm still grinding every day, so let me show you what I've been up to. Before we jump into the grind, I want to introduce you to the coolest sponsor I've worked with so far, Creator Crafted. If you love all things old school RuneScape, like me, you're really going to want to check out the great pieces of OSR's merchandise Creator Crafted has to offer. These are the first OSR's inspired LED signs that are officially licensed by old school RuneScape. They are high quality and very user friendly to install. You can mount them on your wall or just place them on your desk or shelf, because they come with a stand. There are currently a lot of limited edition designs to choose from. An Elysian Spirit Shield, Dragon Methelm, Armadil Godsword, Saradomin Godsword, Dragon Dagger, Dragon Scimitar, Hardcore Iron Man Helm, Twisted Bow and more. Apart from LED signs, Creator Crafted also sells mouse mats that feature epic runescape art to really bring the game's world to your gaming setup. This is the first time that the sold out items have restocked in months, so I can't stress enough that this is a unique offer and only available for a limited time. Think about what a great memorable holiday gift this would be for any RuneScape fan. Thanks, or get something to enhance your own gaming space. Click the link in the description to support my channel or use code HAPPERY10 so you get 10% off at checkout. Thanks to Creator Crafted for sponsoring this video. So these are the rest of the ores that I got from ore packs, a good amount of mithril and more than enough coal as well, which I will superheat and make into mithril bolts. I need those for two of my remaining chunk objectives. There we go, that is 100 mithril bolts, that will do for now. The rest of the bars I'll use up in Giant's Foundry, that shouldn't take too long. And that's all of it, 677 swords made in total. Enough Giant's Foundry for me, time to prepare for Bryophyta now. I bought some emeralds in El Carrot and made a hundred bolt tips. Then I need to get a hundred feathers real quick, so I can use everything together and have my emerald tipped bolts. Now I just need to enchant them. But before I do that, I'm going to take off my smith's outfit and resell it to Kovac. I'm done with Giant's Foundry and smithing training for a while, so I won't need this anymore. And you can sell back most of the items by using them on Kovac and he will give back 80% of the reputation points that you bought it for. So that's 3200 for the body, 3200 for the legs, 2800 for the boots and 2800 for the gloves. And I end with 15k reputation in my name, which is actually enough to buy the outfit back if I ever want to. Now let's get my inventory sorted for the next grind. Oh, a genie random, and that is 37 farming. Alright, let's enchant the emerald bolts. All done, now I will start gathering the mossy keys for Bryophyta. This episode I'm starting at about 750kc, but I was pretty lucky on keys before, so I don't expect to get many in the beginning here. I was going to use up these mind runes by casting airstrikes, but goddamn this seems slow. Let's see if I can get rid of these by doing some afk splashing real quick. I got my rune armor back out of my looting bag, because I need to get my magic attack bonus as low as possible. With the stuff of air, my magic bonus is now at negative 25. To get that even lower, I need to get a plate body of any kind. Those have a bigger negative bonus than chain bodies. So let's make a bronze plate body. There we go. I'm at negative 55 magic bonus now. I'm pretty sure that is the lowest I'll be able to get it currently. I don't think this is optimal, but let's hope it's enough to splash quite consistently. Okay, I might here and there do some airstrike sessions if I feel like it, but my new plan is to use up the remaining 27k bronze arrows. 
These are still the bronze arrows that I picked up during the defense grind in Lumbridge. Might as well turn them into ranged XP. And it will free up an inventory spot when I do. And there's level 81 ranged. In the meantime I've also planted some more wild blood hops and good timing to check in on them. If I didn't use a plant cure in time those seeds would have been wasted. Well, I should not have went to eat dinner and take a shot. Mystery box number 57. No way, what in the hell is my mystery box RNG? That is what my 6th rare drop table reward for mystery boxes? Holy shit. This long bone gets me a level. 66 prayer and there's 82 ranged and combat level 95 got a one step beginner casket with the expected rewards 83 ranged i need to create some more inventory space before i run out so i'm going to high elk the lucky rune square shield this one wasn't so special anyway we've seen it before who cares another beginner casket making good progress on the arrows and there's level 84 ranged and 96 combat. 91 hit points. Oh, there we go. There's my second ever curved bone on the account, as you can see in the collection log. And that is after 5k moss giants, nicely on drop rate. If I didn't kill 22k hill giants for only one curved bone, that is. And there's level 67 prayer. Another genie for 38 farming and 1300 total level. Man, I really need to get back to raking my patches, but they're so out of my way at the moment. Once I'm done with Bryophyta, I'll only have farming left. But right now, it's just such a hassle to rake those patches all the time. Maybe it's inefficient in the long run that I'm not consistently raking, but I've nearly finished everything else anyway. Starting now isn't going to make too much of a difference. And there's 85 ranged. Now where do I get a twisted bow? Also 97 combat. If I can get fishing XP here instead of magic XP, yes, there's level 40 fishing without ever catching any fish. All from Bob the Cat fishing random events. 86 ranged. Oh, this has been quite a grind, only 1k bronze arrows left. I've been killing moss giants for about 2 weeks already. It takes quite some time picking back up every single arrow to get the most out of it. Only 100 arrows left. Oh, a dunce, thank you very much. And finally, all out of bronze arrows. That's one inventory space cleaned up. Already gathered 46 mossy keys, not bad. But I'm going to stay just a little longer and use up my earth runes here as well. Maybe I can get 50 keys before I head to Bryo. And there are the final few earth strikes. I got 5 more keys, so I've got 51 attempts at Bryo. Wait, what? You can scroll here? You can apparently scroll in the long loot pile now. That's amazing. Great update! It was always annoying when I couldn't reach the bottom of the pile because of a small client screen. And once again, I'm making stews for food. They're pretty good food for the amount of effort it takes to make them. Well, maybe before I attempt a kill, I should cook the stews. I almost went in with a full inventory of uncooked stews. Alright, now I'm good. Let's get this bryo essence. Ah, and I just completed another objective, to fire a mitral bolt. Easy. This is going very smoothly, this rune crossbow is hitting much better than a rune longsword. And there are 6 KC for... Oh damn it! I forgot about the combat achievement. Let's try that again. Alright, and now I just wait for the poison to finish her off. There is the combat achievement. And with that, I'm so happy to have finally completed all of Bryophyta's combat achievements. And all combat achievements available in my chunks. I'm going to continue killing Bryo in member worlds to be able to get the battle staves drop, because that's not on the drop table in free to play. And if I get the battle staves before Bryophyta's essence, then I'll hunt for the essence in free to play, because that should theoretically be easier without getting poisoned every time. I'm also going to try out this colossal blade on Bryo, it should be really good on big enemies. The attack speed of the colossal blade is pretty slow, so I feel like the rune crossbow results in much faster kills to be honest. There is 10 Bryophyta kill count. Neat, I didn't get poisoned during that entire kill. Two kills in a row where I didn't get poisoned. Oh yeah, and without strange fruits, the only way for me to quickly get rid of my poison is to just die. And every time I do that, I have to get a new looting bag and reorganize the inventory. 
I will have to do that a lot of times, probably. Beginner casket 110. Not bad. Level 61 cooking, still making a lot of stews. Oh, let's go! I got the essence at kill count 31. That is so lucky. I guess that compensates for the obor luck. That is another chunk objective completed. Now I just need to get the battle stage drop to make it into a Bryophyta staff. And also, that is the second green log on the account. Man, does it feel good to complete something like that. Yes, there it is. The battle staves to make the essence into a Bryophyta staff at kill count 34. I'm poisoned right now, so I'm going to quickly do a couple more kills while I'm here and then I'll go and craft the staff. Alrighty, let's unnote the battle staff and combine it with the essence. There we go, Bryophyta staff uncharged. I think it looks a lot better when it's charged though, so let's use some nature runes on it. Oh, I didn't mean to do a thousand. Oh well. Look at how nice that looks with the green glow. Anyway, let's use up the rest of these mossy keys. Maybe I can get another one. I figured I'll keep killing Bryo in members with the rune crossbow, because the kills are going quite fast. And there's even more battle staves. And these two rune bars that I got, I'm going to make them into rune maces. That way I can high elk them for more money than if I were to high elk the bar itself. Please, not like this. Uh, I'm going to die. I was too greedy thinking I could get another kill and then I got unlucky with my hits and with the tangle root spawns. Better pick back up my bolts before they are gone. That is minus one key. And this will be my last key right here, unless I get another one from Bryo of course. That's it, 61 KC and I'm done here. Now all that I've left to do in this chunk is to get 64 farming, as my very last objective is to plant and harvest a potato cactus. The potato cactus seed is a drop from Moss Giants and I can plant it in the cactus patch in Alcarit, so it's something I have to do. I've gathered 162 wild blood seeds, so I'll get all those growing, as well as more raking I have to do. It's going to be painfully slow, that's why I've been delaying this chore so much, but now it's all that I've left to do. No way around it. So I've only got two farming patches in my chunks. This hops patch north of Lumbridge, and then the Alcarit cactus patch. For now, wild blood hops is all I can plant. To plant a regular cactus I need 55 farming, which I'm still almost 140k XP away from. I figured I'd buy back a woodcutting skill cape and do some woodcutting and fletching at the willow trees near the hops patch. So at least I'll be doing something while I'm looking over my wild blood hops. I want to be able to keep a close eye on them so I can keep as many as possible from dying. And I'll already be working towards future fletching requirements, which will take time away from other chunks. There are the first 10 wild blood hops. If I can get 10 every harvest that would be great. I'll be noting them all, just like I'm trying to note all the weeds I rake. I don't know how much raking I will be showing in the video, but keep an eye on the stacks in my inventory from now on. Oh shit, a new collection log, and a spory seed. I'm so so far off of the farming guild, so it's not useful at the moment, but it's something to put in the video. I might keep it to see how many I get from this, but if I can use more inventory space, it's going to the ground. 
Just got an XP book. Very nice. That is 39 farming. Every XP random is so nice to get right now. Each one saves me like 2 to 3 hours of actual farming and raking. Oof, only 5 harvested from that one. That is unfortunate. And this is exactly why I want to stay near my hops patch while it grows. If I leave for 10 minutes, it could already be too late to apply plant cure. Glad I was able to save that one. I just came across a dragon impling and asked somebody to notify Limpert so he could come catch it. Just doing my part to help the legend get 99 construction. Finally another raking clip, because there is 40 farming. 15 levels to go before I can actually use this patch though. Oh, possibly a stale baguette? Ah, uh, nope. This one's definitely fresh. Another genie. Minus two hours on the grind. And that should be 41 farming. About halfway through the wild blood seeds, unfortunately. So these aren't going to get me very far. I may have to go back to moss giants because planting these is still better XP per hour than only raking. There's 42 farming. And a genie for a nice 420 farming XP. But thank god I was able to cure these hops in time, they are almost ready. And there's finally another very big level, 94 fletching, all from willow longbows. And 43 farming. Almost out of wild blood seeds and still such a long way to go. Ah, perfect. XP randoms are so welcome. Another genie, thank you very much. And those are the final seeds. I've got two left but you need four to plant so I better go kill more moss giants now. That is the last harvest. And since I didn't even get a second Hespori seed, I'm going to drop this. It's not worth keeping if I'm not getting more than one. Back to ranging moss giants. I've got 16k iron arrows to use up while I gather more wild blood seeds and probably many more mossy geese, so might as well get my bryophyta kill count higher as well. And I'm trying to make a habit to go rake the patches every 15 minutes. It takes 15 minutes to have the weeds grow fully again, so while this will be a slow process for me, having to run back and forth the whole time, it is the fastest way for me to finish the chunk. And there's 87 ranged, 98 combat. Of course raking is worth it, there's 44 farming. Level 68 prayer. Curved bone number 3 after another 4000 kills. Still catching up to the drop rate. Another genie, yes sir. Oh it's a good thing I waited for that 5 minute login time, cause I was about to log out. This XP reward book saves me 4 hours of raking, believe it or not. <laughs> so this guy asked me for my YouTube channel and apparently was already subscribed. So this is your reminder to subscribe if you haven't already, thank you. Oh no no no, please, please no, I misclicked. Dang it, I knew this was going to happen at some point, since I have to constantly use the canoe. Oh well, there's another accidental music track unlocked, that sucks. I'm just going to teleport out of here. Unfortunately there's no way to hide the options here that I do not want to use. In a previous video I explained how you can prevent accidental teleports with a custom menu swaps plugin, but that just doesn't work with interfaces like this. Whatever I add here, all the options are still clickable. Alright then, I guess that makes my day a little better. There's level 45 farming. These XP randoms are actually doing some work. And there's range level 88. Another chance at the stale baguette. Nope. A one step beginner casket. Yuck. Curved bone number 4. I can confirm they are way more common from moss giants than from hill giants. Holy shit, there's another curved bone! That is only 18 kills after the last one I got. I'm telling you, come and get your curved bones here ladies and gentlemen. Got another dunce random, right when I'm close to getting another farming level. There's level 46. And another XP lamp while I was on a raking run. A one step beginner casket. 12 arrows. And right when I was over halfway through my iron arrows, I get another 2k from a mace random. 
They are useful, but I'm trying to use them up. If I keep getting more, it's never going to end. Genie. Thank you very much. Another one-step casket. Oh, a black plate skirt. I believe that is my second black armor piece from Beginner Clues. And both were plate skirts. And another casket. Nothing good. Even more iron arrows from a maze random. Please. I've been here for so long already. Oh, sweet. I'm actually getting pretty lucky with genies lately. You love to see them. Beginner casket 115. Hit points level 92. Finally halfway to 99. Any moment now. Level 47 farming. Already more than 6,600 weeds collected. And there's 69 prayer from burying all these big boners. Another XP book. Over 700 farming XP. That is about 5 hours of raking saved with just one random event. I know I keep repeating it, but you don't understand how big they are to speed up the grind. Oh yeah. And there's big level 90 ranged. And 100 combat as well. That is my 5th skill in the 90s now. All still from bronze and iron arrows that I picked up or got from random events. Let's get another farming level from raking this time. There's level 48. And now this XP lamp will give me 10 more XP than before. Another genie. Genie. A one step beginner. A law runes at least. And another casket, hence is generous today. More law runes. Oh, I've successfully gone under 1k iron arrows, almost done. Curve bone number 6. That is 5 in 15k moss giant KC. And that's it, all out of iron arrows, finally. That is another inventory space cleared up. Now I can switch to steel arrows and just keep killing most giants, yay. This is a small step for men, but a huge step for the raking content enthusiasts. 10,000 noted weeds, all raked by my own hands. And we're not done. So today Jack exchanged random events. Random events with costume rewards now all give XP lamps instead of coins when you own the full outfit, as well as I think the Quizmaster and Prison Pete random events. It took me some time, but I understand that this is better for everyone. The random events were neglected by almost everybody who wasn't after the outfits, making them dead content once you completed them. Now at least there's an incentive to keep doing them, and most importantly they help out restricted accounts a lot. They will help me immensely during this grind, which is good for both me and everybody who wants this series to continue. The only thing that I was a little bit annoyed at is, why would I change this now? The genie and the dunce randoms were so iconic and always nice to see. Now they're just another random event along with the freaky forester and Leo. And also, why was this not bold or at least announced beforehand? I was completely shocked when I learned about the update at work today. If I had known beforehand, I could have saved up some outfits and be ready to obtain XP lamps starting today. But no, I guess I'll be collecting the outfit pieces first. Anyway, that's all I'll say on it, it's no big deal. Thank you Jagex for free farming XP in return for less inventory space. Coming in with level 49 farming, awesome. Oh yes, let's go. So I've decided to go for two of the random events outfits. The camo outfit and the lederhosen outfit. These two only have three pieces each to have a full outfit, so that's six inventory spaces I'm willing to lose. All other outfits have five pieces each, so... I'm not going to bother keeping those, that's too much, so not worth it. But here's my first outfit piece on the way to more XP lamps. Since I'd rather have as many inventory spaces as possible, there are two items I want to get out of my inventory here. First is the Colossal Blade. It took a lot of Giant's Foundry reputation to obtain, but luckily if you lose it, you don't have to get it the second time. When lost, it can be reclaimed right here at Purdue for only 300k GP. It is untradeable so I can't store it in my looting bag and it is also a very heavy item which greatly affects my run energy. With it I weigh 48kg and without it only 18kg so the item itself is 30kg. That's insane so for those reasons I will just drop the colossal blade. And then I have the Bryophyta staff. In its charged state it's also untradeable and thus can't be stored in the looting bag. So I'm going to remove the charges which does mean that I lose the 1000 nature runes that I charged it with, but it is what it is, we learn from our mistakes. Another Surge and Damien random event in the same day, my prayers are being answered. One more piece for the full camo outfit. Level 91 ranged. There we go, full camo outfit in 2 days. From now on Surge and Damien randoms will result in an XP lamp. 
The number one best random event in my heart will forever be the Duns though. Literally nothing beats the little fella. And you know it, already got my next surgeon Damien random. I've never been happier to see it, so that should be an XP lamp. Yeah, very nice. Sweet, just got the first Freaky Forester random since the update. So there's the later hose and hat. I'll be keeping this, thank you. Another genie. And another one. With this big bone, I get level 70 prayer. That's a clean level, very nice. Hello? Hello? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm racing. There's 50 farming. I've come so far, yet I'm still so far off 64. Only 5 levels until I can plant cacti though. Oh no, dang it man, another accidental music track unlocked, how did that even happen, I wasn't watching my screen, so annoying. Alright, later hose and shorts, just the top to go for the full outfit. And I got another beginner casket, black square shield, interesting. There we go, the last later hose and piece. I'm now all set to receive as many XP lamps from random events as I can, at the cost of 6 inventory spaces. A genie random event to start the day. Oh, back to back genie already, amazing. You've got to be kidding me, 3 XP lamps back to back. You can still see all of them in the chat box. And there is level 92 ranged. I never expected to get it this high this early on. But I'm gonna keep on going. Don't mind if I genie. Another genie, and that is going to be 51 farming, awesome. And these are my last steel arrows, that didn't take too long, however I've already gotten back 2k iron arrows since, so I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! Oh, I almost missed it, I gained an agility level, just from going back and forth through that pipe every 15 minutes. 52 agility. There is 93 hit points, I'm so healthy. In game of course. I'm all out of arrows finally, used up all bronze, iron and steel arrows and I got 92 ranged, that's pretty sick. So now I guess I go back to planting these wild blood hops, I've got even more seeds stacked up than last time. Hey that's a random event I haven't seen before, good addition to the game if you ask me. And there is another fishing level, level 41. Another XP lamp that goes into farming, so close to the next level. There is 52 farming, slowly but surely I'm getting there. Three more levels until I can finally plant my first cactus. Oh, logged in just in time to cure this one. It would have been a shame if they would have died on the last stage. Another beginner casket. An XP book for 780 XP, that's just so great. And the genie as well, thank you. And the freaky forester in the same day. It does pay off to hold on to the outfits. Hey, there's level 95 fletching. I'm now able to make dragon darts. I believe that is the highest skill requirement for fletching in the game, apart from the skill cape, so I'm pretty much already done for any future fletching objectives. Even though I'll be in this chunk for a while still, this has shaved off quite a bit of time from the first chunk that has dragon dart tips. Once this patch is rigged I get 53 farming. I am getting somewhere. Free XP lamp. Just finished the maze random and got over 2k iron arrows again, so I'll probably go kill some more moss giants soon. And I got beginner casket number 120. Ah oh well, looks about right. I just went to put the wild blood hops in my looting bag and I've surpassed 1000, meaning 
So far I've only gained 26k farming XP from all the wild bloods. And looking at my wheat stack, I've gained almost double that from raking. There is level 54 farming. Uh, I'm so close to being able to plant cactus seeds and only 10 very long levels for completing the chunk. Oh, and that's a cool total level. That was the last wild blood harvest for now. Back to Moss Giants. A maze random completed, pretty good. I also have a beginner clue casket, pretty bad. Another maze random, and I'm back up to 3k iron arrows. Level 93 ranged. If only I was keeping track of how many XP randoms I've used on farming. Don't bother counting them, cause I haven't even recorded all of them. 71 prayer. Finally got another Surgeant random event, and I'm over halfway to 55 farming. A one step beginner casket? No. Oh, I just got my first lamp from a Prison Pete random event. Very, very nice. Stop right there. Oh shit, the raking police has shown up. You must answer a question before you can rake. What goes up, but never down. My stack of weeds? Also my playtime. If you didn't know, Chunk Life also has a YouTube series. It's genuinely very chill to watch and one I personally enjoy. So everybody go check out his channel, I will put a link in the description. Hello blue boy, please teach me how to rake my patches better. Alright, I've got 93 mossy keys, 380 emerald bolts and an annoyingly small amount of inventory space for food. But it's time for some more Bryophyta. This one's going to be close. No way! I forgot to turn off the defense perk. That's unfortunate. Okay, that's even more embarrassing. Don't put that in the video. Wait a minute, I just got so excited to see a freaky forester random that I forgot all that all my items were on the ground. So now I have ended up with two lederhosen hats. This may be the most useless thing, but I didn't know it was possible to have more than one of each piece. The fun things you learn as an ultimate Iron Man. And that's it once again for Bryo. I managed to get 154 kills, died a couple of times for thinking I could get one more kill in the trip, but that's okay. Here's the loot tab by the way, unfortunately no second essence. Alright, back to wild blood farming. I want to get 55 farming before the end of this video now. Oh, there's my second Hespori seed. I'm still glad I decided not to keep them, definitely not worth it at this moment. I'm not planning to go to the farming guild soon, I would love a break from farming after this one. Because I don't see myself using the hill giant club, anywhere to be honest, I thought I'd give it away to you guys. So this time, instead of having to gather all your comments under the video, I decided to do it using the giveaway bot in my discord server instead. I'm Shido is the lucky winner and received a signed Hill Giant Club as well as a 14 day membership code. So congrats again Shido. 
The moment this video goes live, there will be another giveaway active in my Discord server, and this time I'm giving away the Bryophyta staff. The staff itself is worth over 7 mil on its own, but I'll once again throw in a bond or a membership code. So if you want to have a chance at winning, join my Discord server with the link in the description, and may the odds be in your favor. And this is going to be it. There is freaking 55 farming after almost 3 months of raking and moss giants. And now I can also go and plant my first ever cactus. Use cactus seed on the cactus patch. Oh my god, it's a tiny pickle. I think finally that will suffice for an update video. I'm long from finishing the chunk, but at least I can plant cacti now, and that should really be a big help to speed up the XP per day. Last episode, I ended on 110 days total playtime, and now I've already surpassed 138 days. So that means this video has almost 700 hours of playtime, which is close to the time it took to get 99 woodcutting in the first episode. So if that doesn't deserve a like and a comment, I don't know what does. I've completed almost every single objective that came with unlocking Edgeville, all that's left to do now is to get 64 farming for the potato cactus. So in the next episode, I'm picking my next chunk, I promise you that. And don't forget to check out Creator Crafted by using the link in the description and get 10% off with code HEPPERY10 on your favorite old school runescape LED signs and mouse mats. Thanks, Once again, thank you for watching and see ya!